But most of my people are people that, again, I just do the minimum in my mind that if someone actually took the time to learn how to be able to build and earn income, that most people will earn just a little bit. So then instead of me thinking about like the average person brings in 2.5 people. So just round that down to two. And so if the average is, then my goal is to make sure to get to 10,000 traders that I need to go out there and at least do 5,000. Isn't that weird? And, yeah. and so I'm just consistent all day, but I never ever think, oh my God, I'm going to put in, because I think that a lot of people do, you guys, this is deep. This is really, really deep. Mark this down, Craig. Because what they do is they put in too much time in one day, not in the right uh, emotion or frequency and vibration. So now what they're doing is they're trying to force recruitment and they believe that if they just go through the numbers and pique people's interest that they're going to win. That is not what I do. That is not what I do. And so I get my morning routine down. And then after my morning routine, Terry and I walk the Goldens. And then after I get done walking the Goldens around nine o'clock is when I go into sending messages out. And I'm just consistent all the time. It doesn't make a difference to me if no one answers or no one responds or no one gets in. And it doesn't make a difference to me if a lot, if a lot of got in. I'm just consistent. Why people fail at this industry is that they'll bring in a person. If that person seems like they're interested, they stop their consistency. They, they immediately stop and put everything into making sure that that person is properly trained and onboarding is the freaking word they use today. And it's like, they just overwhelm them, plugging them in all these groups and giving them all this information and overwhelming them, basically making them quit the business. And I, I bring in the right people at the right time because I imagine that. And I'm just consistent in my reaching out. And I do it consistently every day for the moments that I feel like doing it. That's it. So I've done that for 37 years. So that consistency and what I'm doing is what re reached me the rewards. And it what allows me to recruit somebody that says, thanks very much for the opportunity. I'm going to super. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> because you think about you and I, <clears throat> how much time have I spent with you teaching you how to properly trade? Uh, none. None. You figured that out on your own. See, there's I... people that bring people in up for, for Akashics and they feel like their next goal is to teach that person what to do. I'm going like, what? <laughs> well, like, Akashics already has that there. You don't need to train them. I mean, they have all the traders the trainers there, you just have to find one and focus on one. And uh, like all these these people, they have said the same thing. But like uh, I was listening to uh, Rich, one of I was on his uh, live the other night. And he said that problem with uh, some people when they get into Akashics is they want to follow all the traders. They all have different plans. Yeah. Focus on just like one or two. I'm only fo at the first, at the beginning, I was only focused on one, just Joel. That was it. I, I was focused on one. It was Javid. Yeah, but he doesn't do that many trades. So right. I'm not going to focus on him. Right. Um, but I'm then, saying I had to change to Joel. And, and if Joel's not hitting home runs, I can find someone else to follow. Exactly. Um, but now that he's doing like Bitcoin trades, it kind of has the same movement as NOS 100. Uh, so I think. Uh, Here, that, here's Arthur. He's going into trade knees. No, it's just gives him the, the room to like make the trades so that he can, people can profit. I, I don't know uh, if Eric Markman will watch this. He probably will watch it. And he goes, the first time that he heard about NOS, he reached out to me and he goes, that's what we put on cars to give him more horsepower. It is. <laughs> But uh, I wanted to uh, comment on uh, also Bob's uh, 
comment that he made with you about wanting to catch me uh, or catch up to me or competition. The competition is with yourself, yeah. really. Um, and if you don't focus on uh, using larger lot sizes and you just stay consistent with the smaller lot sizes, you'll stay in the game longer and not risk your account because you want to watch your drawdown and make sure you never risk your account. That's why I'm, I've been on the leaderboard and a lot of people that go on the leaderboard, they're off the leaderboard because they go over their drawdown. So you, your drawdown is the most important thing to keep your account. Uh, so if you never go over that and you're using a small enough lot sizes, you're going to win over time. Right. Uh, and then also use the mind hack that I did when I originally won my account. I wasn't shooting for two, $300 trading, trading wins. I was looking for $75, $80 wins and then boom, 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 in, out. It Market dips down, take another trade, bounces back up boom, out at $80. That's how I was able to stack those smaller wins up so quickly. That's so cool. Well, thanks for sharing that. I I, 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 I realize you, you, you talking about your mind hack made me realize how I can get uh, gooder at, at, at trading. It's, it's just doing the You're little gonna stuff. Have Doing the little gonna, stuff consistency, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have the losses. You're going to have to... I try my best to remove my emotion out of the losses that I do have. Because if you read the book, Best Loser Wins, that's what he does. He he says you you're when you're trading, try and remove your emotion out of the trade. If it goes your way, it goes your way. You're not going to get too excited. If it goes the other way and you hits your stop loss, you're not going to beat yourself up and stop trading. You're going to trade the next day. And especially with TradeX Mastery, you start back at zero. So it's like you're starting fresh anyway. So right. the losses from yesterday are gone. It's, it says zero now. It doesn't say negative $500 or negative $800 up there on TradeX Mastery. It says zero. Right. Uh, so if you focus on that and then uh, just sticking to the trading plan, which is the process, if you focus on the trading plan and the process, if you're taking manual trades, then you should be fine. The only thing you need to focus on if you're, again, if you're taking TAPTA trades is your lot size. Thanks. And then and then when the ta when the TAPTA trades come in, just making sure that you're up when they come in and you're quick and you can get on them. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's the only thing that you need to focus on. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. Everybody give Arthur a hand. Yay.